What up? We in Chicago. One thing you gotta do when you're in Chicago is have a Chicago hot dog. So we about to go to Dog House and get a loaded Chicago hot dog. And I'm gonna tell y'all all about it. Let's do it. So we're inside the food hall, downtown Chicago. Food hall concept is something that has become really popular in large cities across the US. It allows um, owners to be in a multi-use space where they can have a smaller setup and still have their location. So Dog House is inside the downtown Chicago Food Hall, which is like right at like Wacker and State, the intersection if you're ever in Chicago. So we've got to place our order on this kiosk and get it going. All right, so let's see. Here we go. So because they have multiple organizations in here, I gotta look for a dog house. There it is. All right. House dogs, house sausages, house burgers. Here we go. All right. So they got pre-made ones for you. Cowboy, Old Town. Too shy, we gonna go with that. Too shy, we in Chicago, right? All right. It tells you what it comes with. Tomato, pickle spear, yellow mustard, white onion, relish, sport pepper, so so. Okay, and poppy seeds. You gotta have a poppy seed. If it's a Chicago dog, it's gotta have the poppy seeds on it. So we gonna do that as it is. I'm not gonna get a side, but you could get fries, cheese fries, all of that tater tots, which a lot of people get with Chicago dogs. But I'm gonna get it just as it is. Add to the bag. All right. They got a So Cali, which probably I would bet has avocado on it. Yep. Anything that says Cali probably got avocado on it. They got a Chili Idol. Moses, you gonna get a dog? Chili the Kid, downtown. So they got bacon, caramelized onions, pickled peppers. You wanna try that one? The downtown? Okay. served on a Hawaiian roll. So he don't really like the poppy seeds. So this one don't got the poppy seeds. It's served on a Hawaiian roll, which means it's gonna be a little bit sweet because of the Hawaiian roll. Smoked bacon, mustard and ketchup, which he likes both of those. Ooh, mayo, I'm gonna have a bite of that. <laughs> all right, any changes, baby, you want a side? Onion rings, all right. Set it up, onion rings, all right. Add to the bag and we gonna check out. All right, so we waiting for our food. It's been about 15 minutes, which is longer than you would want a normal ticket time to be. You want it to be about seven to eight minutes when people are placed their order to out the door. So we waiting. Hopefully it's, it's good, it's fresh, it's hot. But sometimes when you're inside of a food hall, it looks like some of these workers might be working from multiple locations, which wouldn't be the case if you're actually on a food truck. So we waiting and we gonna see. All right, y'all, our order is here. I'm so excited. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's hot. I feel the steam, so it's hot. Okay. Onion ring. We're gonna get into those. So they, ooh, ooh. So they, can't, they come in the box and it's got the downtown. They come in the box. They got them labeled so we know what we're getting and then they're in the tray you just pull them out. So the packaging is super, super nice. Making sure that all the toppings that are on here don't, don't like come out. So there you go. And then mine here, you got the two shy. I'm so excited. It looks, it looks good. It smells good. But we're trying not to make a mess all over myself. It's probably not going to happen, but. All right, guys, so what this is, is a ghost kitchen concept where you have the vendors all meeting in the middle, essentially, right? So in the middle, you have what, what in a normal restaurant would be hostesses that see people, or in a ghost kitchen concept, the hostesses serve people on the outwardly, right? So you order from the different spots and everybody meets in the middle and then it's served out. It could be delivery, it could be face-to-face. -face. But 
it goes out from the middle versus a restaurant a, a normal restaurant coming in in the middle but think about um when you go to the mall you have a food court well imagine ordering at the different spots in the food court but you have to go to a central location to get your food all right we're getting into it we're gonna take a big bite it's got the jalapenos on top of here i'm excited yes and yes again i taste all of the flavors then i got a good chunk of the, the dog in there but all of the flavors of the pickle and the onions and a tomato i'm a tomato lover i love tomatoes especially in season in the summertime so good so i got all of that in that first bite which is really good then the bread is thick but even with that i still got all of the other surrounding flavor super good so moses ordered the onion ring it was made to order, which is really, really good. Mm -hmm. I'm a carb lover, and what I like in the onion ring, because I do love onion ring, what I like is to be able to taste that batter because they got to be freshly dropped, right? Like if you're going to have an onion ring, if you're going to indulge, you want to taste that, right? So you bite into an onion ring, and the onion is like, um, hanging from the side, it might not have been freshly dropped, right? Like meaning it wasn't made to order just now. But when you bite into it and it breaks like that, that means it was hot, it was just made, it, it just came out the grease. We did wait for it, we, we did wait for it, but good. I'm gonna bite into his downtown dog. So this has ketchup, mustard, and some mayo. I love, I love me some mayonnaise. That's good. That's good. <laughs> That's good. And I do taste the sweetness of the Hawaiian roll. When you have a true Hawaiian roll on anything, it's gonna t you're gonna taste the sweetness of it. So make sure it's balanced out with the savory of whatever you're eating. Otherwise, it could overpower it. So I do taste the Hawaiian and the sweetness, but you got the ketchup and the mustard, which have a little bit of tartness. The ketchup has a little bit of sweetness. And you got the mustard and the mayo that kind of balance out that. Real good. I taste the bite. I taste the bite of that pepper. Real good. All right, y'all. As always, thank you for watching. Like subscribe so moses talked about the business content he's a businessman he's done this he's run this he's funded this i talk about the food because i like to eat so like and subscribe to our channel send this to somebody who either loves to eat or is trying to start a food truck or a fast casual concept we're gonna get y'all together so we're in chicago this weekend but we are taking this everywhere like and subscribe thank you for watching if you've had a chicago dog Comment in the comments. Let us know where you ate Portillo's. We know all about it. Um, other places we should go visit. Tell us about it because we want to go there. We want to review and I want to eat our dog.